video is going to be showing you guys how to create five minute curls and this is the final result so if you want to see all the steps that i take to create this quick hairstyle then please keep watching so I'm starting off with a straight hair and I'm spraying some of this Elnet Satin Heat Styling Spray into the mid-length and ends of the hair. And once I'm happy that I've got enough product all over it, I'm going to grab a hair tie and I love the ones from Primark, but I'm going to basically make a really, really, really high ponytail on the top of my head. I'm making sure that there's no lumps and bumps in my hair and I'm basically just going to tie a really, really high up ponytail <laughs> like you can see me here I've got quite a lot of hair so it takes quite a while to get this as high as I can but here you can just see me getting it through that last loophole and then I'm left with a super high pony like this then what I do is I split my hair in two halves like this and clip one of them away then with the section that's left out, I take a, about a one inch section from that hair and I grab my curlers. These ones I'm using are the Bombay Hair 5 in 1 curlers and I'm just curling strands around the tongs. So I'm leaving the hair on there for about 15 to 20 seconds only because my hair is really thick. But then once I've got the curl, I make sure that it's nice and compact and I grip it into place with one of these metal clips from Sally's or you could use just your regular bobby pins, whatever you've got around or whatever you feel comfortable with. Then I'm just going to repeat these steps with the rest of the hair. So I'm grabbing about one inch sections, curling the hair and then grabbing that kind of curl in place and clipping it all away so this is basically for the hair to set because this is going to make the curls last way longer in your hair so I'm just making sure that I'm finishing that whole half of my hair sectioned off and making sure that everything's nice and secure and once I'm done with that one half I'm left with something like this before moving on to the second half. So I'm just doing the exact same thing, curling all my hairs in different directions. You don't need to be really neat or anything with this. You just wanna make sure that you're curling all of the hair. So the thicker sections you take, the bigger the curls will be. If you prefer to have smaller curls, then make sure you take smaller sections. The same rule applies for the size of the barrel that you use to curl your hair. So the thicker the barrel, the bigger and chunkier the wave of curl will be in the hair. And the thinner the barrel you use, the thinner the curl will turn out to be. So here I'm just finishing the last little section off in my hair and gripping that away nice and secure. And this is what I am left with. So this is the part where I would now hairspray my hair. So here I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Studio Pro Boost It Hairspray. And I'm giving my like weird like pineapple head a good nice curl. This is the part where I'd normally do my makeup. So it's setting there for a few minutes. But I'm just showing you guys um, what these curls look like after only about 5 or 10 minutes of it sitting like this. So I'm just slowly but surely taking all of the little grips out of my hair and you can already see just the like nice wave and big like bouncy curls that it's creating on the top of my head so once I've got all of those grips out all I'm gonna do is slide out the hair tie from the ponytail so I'm just gonna take that off as I would normally do and this is the part where I kind of play around with my hair and kind of mold it into the place that I want it to sit. And I kind of play around with the parting as well. You can go in with some hair oil just to kind of give it that nice sleek effect. And you can also go in and add some more hairspray like I'm doing here. And you can actually go in and curl sections that you feel like just need a little bit more of a curl. But this, you guys, is the final result of my quick way that I like to curl my hair in about five to seven minutes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. I personally do this quite a lot, especially when I'm in a rush. I just love how it looks like you've spent so much time on your hair or like you've given yourself a fake blow dry one. In fact, you've literally spent minutes on it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did.